Welcome to the Centurus presentation on the impact of AI and business intelligence. In this video, we will be focusing on the impact that AI is having on Tableau. Separate videos are available for AI in Microsoft Power BI and Fabric and IBM Cognos Analytics. Let's see how Tableau is integrating AI into its tools. While sometimes Tableau can be pushed to the side, they are reaching new heights with their AI abilities. For Tableau, the focus is to make decisions faster and eliminate repetitive tasks. Tableau offers two iterations of AI, Tableau Pulse for online and for the desktop tool, Tableau Accelerators. Let's first look at Tableau Pulse. Right now, Tableau Pulse is available for cloud users. While it can be used within the desktop tool as Einstein Copilot, the data source and app must be connected to your cloud service. Tableau Cloud used to be Tableau Online and has been renamed. If you're already a Tableau Online user, you should be ready to start using Pulse. These functions are also available in Tableau Prep when connected to Tableau Cloud. This will help you create calculated fields and perform repetitive cleaning steps by leveraging the Einstein Copilot. Tableau Pulse uses a metrics layer to generate results. This metrics layer uses defined KPIs and metrics and allows this to be reused across the organization. Not only does this eliminate redundant work for your analysts, it ensures that everyone is working from one source of truth. On top of this layer is an insights layer. Here's where Tableau leverages the AI portion. By using the defined metrics, Tableau is able to provide insights through a statistical service. The results are then presented in natural language. Our users can use these results to dive deeper and be guided through follow-up questions. The follow-up questions are proactively created based on the data set results. After all this, the best part is the next-gen experience where users can send the results to the rest of the organization in Teams, mobile delivery, Slack, email, or the Tableau web app. The recipients can then take these results, ask their own questions of the data, and share their generated summaries. Remember, everyone is using the same metrics from the same data source, helping to ensure all of the results can be considered one source of truth, regardless of the look of the output. The Tableau AI experience isn't limited to online only. You can also get the same results inside of desktop with Tableau accelerators. Using the accelerators mimics the behavior we see with Pulse and Einstein. We can load our data source, define our dimensions and measures, then allow Tableau to generate a full dashboard. Let's see how that works. Here we've got the sample superstore. We've verified our data source, we've added some calculated fields, and we've created relationships between our tables. From here, we'll go to the accelerator option. With one click, Tableau produces the following. This is an incredibly beautiful and detailed multi-page set of dashboards, and all it took was one click. Now that's using AI for effective delivery. On top of all that, because of Tableau's inherent statistical and predictive capabilities, one of the dashboards generated is a what-if page. Here, our users can use the built-in filters and slicers to change the settings and see exactly how this is going to impact their business. By simply looking at our data and analyzing what is there, Tableau has produced reports on an executive summary, our products, our customers, shipping information, overall performance, even commission models, and order details. Remember, this was all generated with a single click from a completely empty workbook where we had just brought in our data source. Even without the use of accelerators, Tableau can provide details and insights on your data to help you uncover new value. Here we have a simple visualization showing our sales by category and subcategory. When we click on the data guide icon up next to show me, we get insights even on this basic visual. From here, we can click on one of the detected outliers to dig deeper. 
Tableau has not only given us detailed reasons of what may be causing these outliers, but it's also given us the ability to create visualizations to see the results. As you can clearly see, Tableau is producing reports, dashboards, and insights on par with any of the other tools with the same relative ease and efficiency. Not only that, Tableau has also stated on their website that this AI integration will continue into more of the products in 2024, including the mobile app. In addition, the library of analytics and insights will continue to grow, as will the metric types. For example, we can expect to see support for fiscal year data in 2024. Another new feature slated for 2024 is the addition of goals and thresholds on metrics we can expect to see some exciting things emerge as the year progresses. As you can see from these demos, AI isn't out here replacing anyone or creating six-limbed monsters. These are designed to help, not hinder. At the same time, don't rely on AI to do your job. Is everything it's going to provide 100% accurate? No, but a lot of this has to do with your source data. No matter what tool you're using to achieve the best results, we need accurate data. Even with AI coming in to help you find new ways of looking at your data, it can't do its job against poorly structured data source. Here's where we at Centurus can help. Whether you're moving to a new tool in 2024 to take advantage of these fantastic new offerings, or you're just looking to work more efficiently with what you already have, we have the expertise to guide you on this journey. Remember, we want to leverage the power of AI and tools so this way our users can get to insights faster, they can do their job more efficiently, and hopefully become more self-sufficient. We thank you for watching this video today and hope that you have found it both informative and given you new insights into how AI is being used in Tableau. As a reminder, additional videos are available for Microsoft Power BI and Fabric and IBM Cognos Analytics.